some people need a little extra help with the leaf puzzle in Lost Lands, Dark Overlord. So I'm making this video in order to explain the puzzle in more detail. It is a tricky puzzle and the instructions don't really help. They say arrange the pieces in the outer circles as shown as the inner circle. That doesn't really explain things. What you want to do is match all the leaves. That's how you do it. So, for example, I want to move the inner ring like this and then the outer ring like that. So notice I have three of the same type of leaf in a row. That's what you want to do. You want all of the leaves to match with each other. So you want three of this leaf. You want three clovers, three ferns, and three pieces of ivy. It's a matching puzzle. Just match all the leaves with each other. That's your goal for the puzzle. Now let's solve the puzzle for real. We want to start with the inner ring. So move these two pieces out of the way. We're not going to worry about the outer ring quite yet. We're just going to do the inner ring first. So what you need to do is come up with a starting position. Let's use the clover on the top as our starting position. We're going to constantly come back to this starting position. Great. So now uh, let's start with this this flower over here on the left. So it needs to go over here on the right. So what we're going to do is uh, take this piece. We're going to move it out of the way. And, that way, and then we rotate it so piece number one can go into place. Then we move everything back to the starting position with the clover on top. Great. So now the clover and the piece we just moved are both in the correct spots. We're going to follow that pattern over and over and over again. So where does this piece go? Well, it goes over here where the fern is. So I move the fern out of the way, freeing up the spot for leaf number one. Now leaf number one is in place, which we see when we move everything back to the starting position of the clover on the top. So now let's get this piece into place. It's supposed to go here. I'm going to move this piece out of the way freeing up the space for leaf number one. Now leaf number one is in place, which we see when we move everything back to the starting position of the clover on the top. Now this piece. So this leaf is supposed to go over here. So I'm going to move this out of the way, freeing up the spot for leaf number one. Leaf number one's in place, which we see when we reset everything to that starting position of the clover on top. So now this piece, this piece, it's supposed to go in this spot. So I'll move this piece out of the way, freeing up the spot for leaf number one. So leaf number one is in place when we go back to that starting position of the clover on top. This piece is supposed to go over here. So I'll move that piece out of the way, freeing up the spot for leaf number one. Now leaf number one is in place. Back to the starting position. This leaf is supposed to go here, okay? So I'm going to move this out of the way, freeing up the spot for leaf number one. And back to the starting position. Where is this leaf supposed to go? Well, it's supposed to go over here in this spot. So I'll move that piece out of the way, freeing up the spot for leaf number one. Now leaf number one's in place, which we see when we go back to the starting position. So this leaf, this leaf is supposed to go over here. So I'll move this piece out of the way freeing up the place for piece number one back to the starting position where's this leaf supposed to go it's supposed to go over here so i'll move this out of the way freeing up the spot for leaf number one now leaf number one's in place which we see when we go back to the starting position and hey guess what we're we're done with the inner ring that's it everything is now in place in the starting position we did it hooray so, now we do the exact same thing with the outer ring. We're just going to continue the pattern. Let's stick with the clover on top as our starting position, because why not? Now we have this leaf and uh, this leaf. Well, these two leaves are really, really simple. They, they just need to be swapped, that's all. So, let me show you what that looks like. So, we need this leaf. It goes over here. We move that piece out of the way, freeing up the spot for leaf number one. And now leaf number one is in place when we go back to the starting position. Where is this leaf supposed to go? In the empty spot. So we put it in the empty spot and move everything back to the starting position of the clover on the top. So now let's move another leaf. Uh, you can pick any leaf, doesn't really matter what order you do them in. 
Well, let's go with the fern. I'll move the fern out of the way. So, in the starting position, with things in the starting position, the fern is supposed to go here in this spot. So I move that piece out of the way, freeing up the spot for piece number one. Move everything back to the starting position. This piece is supposed to go, oh, in the empty spot. Very simple. So I move it in the empty spot and move everything back to the starting position. Looks like this leaf is incorrect. So let's, let's move that leaf next. Everything in the starting position. Where is this supposed to go? Here. It's supposed to go here. So I move that piece out of the way, freeing up the spot for leaf number one. Now I move everything back to the starting position. Where is this leaf supposed to go? Here. So I move that leaf out of the way, freeing up the spot for leaf number one, and I move everything back to the starting position. Where is this leaf supposed to go? In the empty spot. So let's move it in the empty spot. Move everything back to the starting position of the clover on top. Which pieces haven't been moved yet? These two pieces. Aha. Let's swap the two of them. So I move this piece to the right. Move everything to the starting position. Where is it supposed to go? Here. So I move that piece out of the way. Freeing up spot for leaf number one. Now I move everything back to the starting position. Hey, hey, hey. This final piece goes in that final empty spot. So I'm going to move it in there. Move everything back to the starting position. Woo! So that's how you uh, solve that puzzle. Yes. I'll solve it one more time. This time I'll try a different uh, starting position. Why not? Let's do a different starting position. So the easier uh, starting position it's gonna be this one with four things already in place. That's gonna be an easier starting position. Okay, so let's start with the inner ring uh, there. We're gonna have that as the starting position. We're gonna start with this piece on the left. It's supposed to go over here. So I'm gonna move that piece out of the way. That way I move the piece in on the left into place and I move everything back to the starting position. Let's see, this piece is supposed to go over here. So I'm gonna move that left piece uh, I'm just going to move it out of the way to the left, and then move this into place, and move everything back to the starting position, and that leaf goes there. Cool. So what else do I need to move? Ah, oh, the clover. Okay, so the clover needs to, to go on top, so I'll move this piece out of the way, freeing up the spot for the clover. Now the clover is into place, move everything back to the starting position, uh, and this has to go over here in the hole on the right, so let's just move it into place on the right and then move everything back to the starting position. So we've got three leaves to move now. So this leaf, uh, let, let's use this leaf. It doesn't really matter what order you move the leaves in, just, just as long as you move them all. So back to the starting position. Where is this leaf supposed to go? It's supposed to go here. So this is leaf that's in the way. I move it out of the way, freeing up the spot for the leaf on the left, then move everything back to the starting position. This leaf is supposed to go here, so I'll move uh, that out of the way. Freeing up the spot for leaf number one. And then I move that leaf into place, because I know it's the final leaf, so it has to go there. That's the only remaining place. Okay, so now with the outer ring, let's see if we can find a good starting position for this. Ooh, that's good. Three in a row. Three correct. Ooh, was that four? Yep, that's four. Okay, we're doing this one. This is going to be our starting position here. Great. Okay, so the clover needs to, to go over here, but that leaf's in the way. So I'll move uh, that piece out of the way, freeing up the spot for the clover. Move everything to the starting position. Where is this one supposed to go? Over there on the left. Great. So let me just move that piece over there on the left. Everything back to the starting position. Now let's pick a new leaf to move. What's a leaf that's not in place? Uh, let's go with the fern. So back to the starting position. Fern needs to go here with uh, where, where that piece is. Uh, it looks like it was just the fern and that piece need to be swapped. You can see that uh, they, they, they just need to be swapped. So I'll do that. Let's just swap them. So swapping them like that. Now everything to starting position. Okay, what leaf needs to be moved next? This one. Let's go with this one. So this piece needs to go in that spot. Free up that spot. Then we get leaf number one into place. Move everything to the starting position. Ah, that one needs to go there. So that's another case of two leaves just needed to be swapped with each other. 
Good, good, good. And how many leaves are still in place? Okay, so we just need to swap those two remaining leaves. So that was uh, this leaf with that leaf. And we'll just swap them. So that's the alternate solution to the puzzle. It's, a it's a slightly faster if you're just swapping pieces correctly. You swap one piece with each other. I, I find it faster to do, uh, you know, that first solution I did, uh, rather than the second one, where you just go from piece one to piece two to piece three to piece four to piece five. And as as you saw, it doesn't really matter what order you, you move the pieces in, because you have to move every single piece anyway, so it doesn't matter if you start with the clover first, or the ivy first, or just the, the leaf with, uh, you know, this one with five leaves. It doesn't really matter which one you do first. That doesn't matter. What, what matters is um, picking a starting position and constantly going back to it. That way you're getting everything into place uh, relative to that starting position. Otherwise you'll just be moving things around randomly and getting stuck. So hopefully that helps explain the puzzle in more detail. Hopefully that will help people solve the puzzle on their own. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps you.